guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you a first impression slash review on the Face Shop's latest cushion foundation, which is the Miracle Finish Cushion Foundation. Now what's nice about this product is they come out with six types to be able to cover most, if not all, skin concerns. So they have come out with a matte, high coverage, hydrating, long wearing, cooling, and regenerating formulas. So it's really nice because they were able to make an effort to be able to cover all these skin concerns that many people have. So with Cushion Foundation, usually the case is that they come out with this very radiant and glowy finish that is not really compatible with a lot of people. So let's see today if this, this will actually be true, especially the matte and long wearing ones, if they will really be able to live out to their claims. So what's also nice about these Cushion Foundations is that they come with an SPF of 50 which is really nice because especially in a tropical country like the Philippines, it's nice to have that extra protection under the sun when we're out and about during our day. So let's see if this will actually be true and let's start with the demo. Okay, so this is how the packaging looks like. It's black and gold. They also have another variant which is a white and gold one, which is this one. So both packaging looks very elegant and very sleek, which I am personally a fan of. And if we open up the packaging, we could see the puff. It comes with the mirror. And when you open this, this is where the cushion is under the sticker. So it's, this is still brand new, I haven't tested it. So if you remove this, this is the cushion. So if you press the puff onto that cushion, the product will come out. So what I'm going to use today is the Long Lasting one. And the shade is Natural Beige. I'm not exactly sure how many shades this product comes in. But I have the one B203 Natural Beige, so let's see if it's a good match for me. So I'm not wearing any primer today, I'm just wearing my regular moisturizer because this certain foundation has primer qualities infused in it. So let's see if this will really help my makeup last for a really long time. So I'm just going to press on the cushion with the puff and start to apply it. I'm only going to apply it on one half of my face first. So this product has a very floral scent to it. It's not very overpowering. As for the shade, it's a bit yellow, but I'll try to blend it out and let's see if this will actually be a good match. So this is one layer of the foundation on my face. As you can see, it was able to cover the redness that I do have on my cheeks. I still have some dark circles peeking through, but overall, I'm glad that it was able to even out my skin tone. So it still has a very dewy finish, like most cushion foundations do. So I'm kind of concerned if it will really last longer, like what it claims to do because it might slip and slide if I don't powder it. I don't plan to powder it so we could able to see if it will really last on its own on my skin. So I'm going to try to double this as concealer under my eyes and let's see if it will work. So I'm just going to tap it on the edge of the puff and tap it under my eyes. So this product is definitely buildable. It was able to somehow cover my dark circles. It kind of feels tacky, so I think it really needs to be powdered if you want it to last a lot longer. And if you're oily, I would suggest that you really powder your face with your regular powder or setting powder to be able to control the oils more. So I'm going to do the rest of my face so you could see the overall effect. So I like the fact that this product really blends very easily. It's very smooth. You don't really need much effort to blend it 
seamlessly on your skin. And it does in fact help cover obvious pores. Yeah, they really did a good job at covering the pores around my nose without having to use a primer underneath. So right now, I feel like the shade matches my neck. However, I'm afraid that it might oxidize. So let's see if it will darken as the hours go by. Okay, so this is one layer all over my face. I also used a second layer only under my eyes to be able to conceal some dark circles peeking through. First impressions, I like how it evens out my skin. It's very dewy, it's very glowy. However, I think that with this kind of temperature, especially the summertime here in the Philippines, this kind of dewiness might look too oily after a few hours. But that's nothing too serious because you could just actually powder your face and that, that won't really take much time. So let's see if this base makeup will last long. I'm just gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll check back in with you guys. Hey guys, so I just finished the rest of my makeup. I only applied a little bit of eyeshadow, mascara, and lipstick and I kept the rest of my face free of any other makeup. However, I also applied a little bit of powder on my T-zone which I initially didn't want to do. However, my T-zone got a little bit too shiny for my liking as the hour passed by. So I decided to powder it a bit and so far I like how it looks. It, my skin looks very healthy, it has a natural looking glow. So let's see if this look will last for a few more hours. It's currently 1.09pm. And I applied this base makeup at around 12 noon, so it's been around an hour. So let's see if it will last for a few more hours. So I'm gonna go about my day and check back in with you guys in a while. Hey guys, so it's currently 2.43 p.m. And it's been around an hour and a half since I finished doing my makeup earlier. I've already had lunch, I've fixed stuff around the house. It's actually very humid today, it's very hot. It's around 29 degrees Celsius here in Manila. And my makeup is really holding well despite the hum humidity and the heat from outside. I haven't touched my makeup, especially my base, since the first time I applied it. I didn't need to touch up the powder. I have a few shiny areas, although this is nothing too major because I usually get more oily than this. And take note that I didn't apply any primer beneath this foundation. So I'm glad it's really holding up well. I could actually mattify the shine with a bit of powder or like blot it with tissue, but that's nothing too major to actually be a concern. And so far, I'm really liking it. So I'm gonna wear this for a few hours more and I'll give you my final thoughts. So it's now 6.03 p.m. And I have not touched up my makeup since the last time I checked in, which is around three and a half hours ago. So yes, there is some shine around this area, which I normally do have, especially in, with radiant foundation such as this one. However, the difference that I noticed is that even without retouching it with powder or patting my face with some tissue, it still held up pretty well. The foundation isn't even cracking up on the sides of my nose, which is usually the case for my skin when I apply foundations. So I'm really impressed since I believe that this foundation is really infused with primer qualities. And I'm really happy because aside from its long wearing properties, it was able to even out my skin tone. So if you remembered from earlier, I do have some redness on my cheeks and it did really cover them and evened out my whole face. So I'm really pleased that this product actually lived up to its claims. For those of you who don't have the same skin type such as me, if you're more oily or more dry than me, there are other types of foundations of this certain compact that you could try to suit your own skin type. So overall, I'm gonna give this product a huge thumbs up. I really like it and for its price which is 1,095 pesos it's really a good buy already because it's compact, it does live up to its claims and it will really even you out throughout the day. So if you purchase this item on or before April 30, 2017 you would actually get a free refill per purchase of this 
foundation. So it doesn't matter if you choose the long wearing one or the matte one, whatever type you choose, you would actually get a free refill per purchase of this item. Please don't forget to follow the face shop and all their social media outlets, which I will link here. And I hope this video really helped all of you, especially if you're really on the edge of buying this product, which I will really recommend to all of you. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!